Hitman Blood Money is a stealth game developed by IO Interactive and published by Square Enix. This game is absolutely fantastic and easily the best game in the Hitman franchise yet. And now we're gonna see how the new one does, I'm definitely gonna do a review about it. But let's look at the gem of the franchise which came out in 2006. The story of the game is extremely, extremely weak. But damn, do you go to some fantastic locales. The basic premise is that someone is killing the agents of the ICA, the agency 47 works for. And you go around and you kill some of the guys that are trying to kill you, and then you kill some other guys, and you get paid for it, so... That's the story, that's literally the story. Even though it's kind of more complicated than that, you're not playing this game for the story. But I have to say, the places where you go are just fantastic. You go to some villas in South America, you go to a French theater, you go on the Mississippi River inside a boat, you go to a marriage, you go to Las Vegas, you go to a multitude of places that are just phenomenal and they loved every single environment that you go in. It feels believable, it feels lived in, and there is just a huge, huge variety of levels, and you will never get bored of them. The game, even today, does look still very, very good. I especially really love the blood effects, some of the textures. Other aspects of the game aren't all that polished. I have to say a couple of animations are still really wonky, but they've always been like that in Hitman games. And then you also have some really fantastic looking anti-aliasing and other post-processing effects. And for being a 2006 game, it does hold up very, very well after 10 freaking years. And you definitely don't feel bored by how the game looks. And it looks pretty damn solid, even to this day. The gameplay which is excellent. First of all, let's talk about the shooting. Even though it's not as good as in Hitman Absolution, which is more of a third-person shooter, in this one it feels very, very well. Every single weapon has, handles differently, there are many upgrades that you can buy with the money you get at the end of each mission, and they, there is a shit ton of weapons to get, and I especially love how it works. For example, you can't carry two or three shotguns with you, because a shotgun is pretty damn big, while you can hide around 10 pistols inside your jacket or some submachine guns, you can't hide a shotgun, it's way too big. So you will always have it in your hand. If you're walking around with a shotgun, you can't store it in your inventory. You're always having it equipped. And the same goes for sniper rifles and assault rifles. Now, also something that I really didn't know when I first played the game is that there is also a first person mode, which makes killing some enemies extremely, extremely easier and I definitely recommend it if you didn't know that already. And they unfortunately leave that out for the other games of the franchise, which even though they do have cover-based shooting, I still would have enjoyed having a first-person view, it's always pretty great. And now the stealth, the action. The entire game revolves around Agent 47 going around these different places, killing some people. And the best thing to do is to avoid getting seen. So what can you do? Well, in some levels you can just go and shoot the guy in the head when he's alone. Or you can use your Garrod and, and choke them to death. Or if you want you can cause accidents, which are the best thing to do in an Hitman game. You can try to poison their food, you can try to make them fall under a balcony, you can try to get them hit by a car, whatever. You name it, you can do that. It's fantastic. The, the possibilities are limitless in this game. And unlike the other ones, it never feels frustrating to do something like that. It's really rewarding in this game. Especially because if you don't get seen that much, and if you don't do that much violence, if you only heal the right targets, then you will get a shit ton more money. And there is also a notoriety system, which basically makes 47's face more and more popular between people. So if you have really high notoriety, a guard will see you and they will go, oh yeah, I've seen the poster of this man, let's kill him because he's a hitman. But you can also lower this by buying, for example, informants or bribe civilians. And those are just some of the great things that make Hitman Blood Money one of the best stealth games I've ever played and the best game in the franchise. It's just fresh and there is great variety to everything. And it never feels like you're forced into doing something. If you want to go loud, you can go loud, even though the controls aren't as perfect 
as in Absolution, it still feels pretty good to go around in an action way, especially in the easier difficulties. But on the harder difficulties, managing to actually create those incidents are fantastic. For example, my favorite one is in the opera level, where you can change one of the prop guns that they're using for the show with an actual real World War II weapon. And when the guy shoots at your target, real bullets fly and the guy dies. And that's just fantastic. It's it's the little things, it's the little things that make this game great. And some people still prefer Absolution to this one. And I honestly can see why, because that, ga that game has way better gameplay. But just because the shooting feels better doesn't mean that the game is also better. This one is a fantastic experience for, for, for Hitman fans. And the game is also very, very challenging while never being frustrating, and I can't stress that enough. I hate being frustrated in games, but in this one you always feel rewarded. And you also have a save system. You can use some saves, in a limited way of course, to actually experiment throughout the levels. For example, you want to try something, well, let's save the game for a little bit. Let's try this, okay, I failed, let's reload the other save. Something that you can't do in the other game. And that's really unfortunate because you want to experiment in this game trial and error, it's really rewarding. And even on the harder difficulties, the game never feels unfair. And the AI works brilliantly, even though sometimes they're kind of stupid, let's be honest. I love how they actually follow blood trails, how they actually change their reactions to what's happening. It's, it's really, really solid. And the game doesn't even require that big of a UI, because you don't need big, gigantic arrows saying that guy's watching you. You don't need that, you really don't. You just need a little small meter of attention. If it's green, yeah, they're noticing you, but it's fine. If it's yellow, oh, they're starting to suspect something. And if it goes red, damn, you're in big troubles. In big, big troubles in the big ass world of Hitman. The soundtrack by Jasper Kidd is also fantastic. The Ave Maria theme is one of the best themes in gaming and one of the best songs in the entire world, of course. And the soundtrack is also really powerful, especially in some levels. I love this, the music that plays during the Mardi Gras one. And the sound effects from the shotguns to the rifles to the muffled shots to the people shouting. The technical quality of the sound is pitch perfect. I have zero complaint about it. It has the best sound design in gaming, in my opinion. The game features a lot of levels, a lot of levels and many, many ways to complete them and they always feel refreshing and they always feel new every time you play them. Well, more or less, unless you've played them 10 or 15 times like me. But other than that, there are many things to do and there are also a lot of hidden secrets and easter eggs to discover and they are always fun in Hitman games. And it's just one of those really fun games to pick up every once in a while, replay a single level that you really love and feel really fulfilled once you've completed it with a Silent Assassin rating. Overall, Hitman Blood Money is still my favorite game in the Hitman franchise, one of my personal favorite stealth games of all time, and easily it will still be that one, even after the new one comes out. I have really, really low expectations for it. I want to love it, I really want to love it, but the episodic system, I don't know if it's gonna work out all that well. But still guys, you can be damn sure that I will review it. So stay tuned for that. But still guys, have you played Hitman Blood Money? Do you like it? Which is your favorite game in the Hitman franchise? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks as always for watching, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.